This video is about uh, advices what Anastasia from the books of Vladimir Megre giving to the people. And uh, she gives many uh, different messages, many advices what uh, people can do, uh, if they like, of course. And uh, today I want to represent you seven uh, of such uh, advices what is, uh, feels for me very important and my personal opinion about it. And uh, I will share it with you. Uh, maybe some of you already read the books and uh, it will be just like a reminder and uh, maybe some never read the books and uh, it will be uh, uh, interesting for you to read the books afterwards. And one thing, if you're interested about this subject, uh, please put comments uh, under this video that you like uh, more information about it. Also, uh, please subscribe for the channel and put like for this uh, video uh, because it will be uh, very helpful for me and I thank you for this if you will do that. And the first advice what I want to share from Anastasia, she's using a special ray, uh, a kind of light what coming out of her. It's invisible ray and it's a healing energy what she share with the people. And she can travel uh, uh, with her ray, uh, with her imagination in any uh, part of the planet and uh, even to another planet as well and she say every person can do that too and it's very related with the shamanic uh, ability of dream travels uh, dream journeys when you are uh, traveling and when you're meeting with different people animal spirits and uh, she do the same and she say that your ray your light is getting stronger uh, when you get more pure, pure with your thinking, pure with your living, with your being. Because imagine that you are uh, full of fear and you think about someone and most of the time you worry about this person and you're afraid for this person. This doesn't, you doesn't send any help to that person. It's mean your uh, light, the ray what she's talking about is, is not working or working uh, not so good. It's mean when you get more pure, when you carry a lot of love, a lot of harmony, a lot of peace inside, then you can uh, share with other people. It's like healing in a distance. When you uh, think about someone or you pray about someone, you do uh, similar things. And in my opinion, most of the people, they need to to do more dreamings and more uh, develop this ability to heal in a distance, to pray in a distance, to support each other and to send love each other. And yeah, train your ray by being more pure and watch your thoughts, think positive, uh, do good things and uh, do the dream travels and healings in a distance, develop your ray, which Anastasia talking about. Second advice of Anastasia, how to planting the seeds. I, I find it very beautiful because uh, it's have a very deep meaning for me at least. And uh, I just re remind you how it works. Like before you planting uh, the seeds, uh, you have to stand bare feet on the ground, which uh, uh, where you want to plant the seeds. And uh, Next step, you uh, take this uh, seeds, one seed or several seeds, under your tongue and uh, hold it about nine minutes. After that, you take them uh, between your hands, like place them between your hands and hold it uh, about uh, 30 seconds. Uh, then you uh, give a brief to the seeds, uh, like uh, your energy with this brief, you uh, bring your energy to the seeds and then you hold that seeds uh, just uh, show it for the universe and uh, keep them open and then you can uh, planting the seeds only the, she recommend to not put water straight away to the seeds also not uh, taking all the uh, uh, plants which is uh, grow on that area I mean before we preparing the, the soil, after a while coming some plants, which is, we say like not welcome plants, and then we take them all away. She recommend to keep them, uh, some of them there around because it's like uh, plants helping each other and uh, make the seeds stronger. 
And she say in that way, uh, the plants and the vegetables or whatever else you plant is getting uh, connected with you and b become a, a medicine for you. And this is the best what you can do. It's really the best and uh, that's something what I think everyone should do. I find out this advice so good, so special and uh, I really um, wish that everyone do this way of planting. Uh, of course for the big agriculture is not possible for but for the people who have your small garden I think it's very very possible. And the third advice of Anastasia which I really like it's a, a greeting in the morning. Uh, when you wake up in the morning and you wake up in the nature of course it doesn't work if you are wake up in the city uh, but if you are somewhere in the nature and especially if you have your own uh, land, uh, one hectare of the land, then you can do that. And she say first you have intuitively uh, go to work or, uh, walking around the plants and touching some plants and greeting the plants. You just use your intuition, your feelings and uh, you will find your way and you find your path. And then to find some place where there is a grass and lie down on that grass for three, four minutes and just stretch your body uh, connect with the mother earth, connect with the uh, grass, what you are touching, your body touching, if some insect coming, uh, cl uh, climbing on your body or sit on your body, you just let it be, it's a form of connection. And then uh, she recommend to go uh, swim, uh, if there is some, uh, some lake or place for swimming, river, uh, if there is no place then uh, use uh, the water, just put the water, a bucket of the water on your uh, body uh, uh, by standing also bare feet on the ground and then when you uh, take a bath with water you're spreading the drops from your hands uh, all around to the plants and uh, you don't use a towel to take off the rest of the water you let your body dry uh, this way and then after this you already can use your normal way of uh, start morning maybe I don't know what you do brush your teeth or uh, uh, whatever else but this is like good start good start uh, uh, intuitive connection with the nature around you and I find out that is really great advice uh, to the people and uh, yeah in the summertime I think we can we can do that when you are living somewhere in the nature and advice number four from Anastasia, she recommend to look at your uh, pets like cats or the dogs if you have some and sometimes they go outside uh, and looking for some herbs to eat them and Anastasia recommend look what kind of herbs they uh, take and you can use that herbs as well for yourself because you're living together and animals feel that this herb necessary you don't need to do it every day, but sometimes once in a while uh, you can do that and use uh, similar herbs. And uh, I think it's have a sense because uh, most of the time animals have much stronger intuition and they intuitively uh, find the medicine for themselves. And because we are living together, often uh, the energy of us and our pets is uh, very similar and the herbs which is uh, good for them can be also good for us. Uh, it's an interesting advice and uh, if you observe your pets you can see what kind of herbs uh, they are looking for and find. And next advice, uh, advice number five from Anastasia, how to make dreams come true. She say all our dreams can become come true if you are go in details what you really uh, wish in your dream and she say also that your dream have to be fast and then faster your dream and also follow the the rules of uh, of the high spirit of the God uh, the rules of the universe and if you are, are in that rules then your dream come true very fast depends how fast uh, you are dreaming and actually uh, it's one of the uh, most beautiful advice, I think, because we all want that our dreams come true. Uh, and uh, dreaming, dreaming more. Often people forget about that. Dreaming and uh, make clear your dream and uh, 
make it into the stream of life and the stream of life is uh, the rules of the universe what is around us and yeah speed up with your uh, dream make it uh, faster and faster and then uh, it will be come true uh, it's quite similar what uh, we have in shamanism about connection with the sky and i like that advice of anastasia as well uh, because sometimes people forget to dream and when you dream your dreams come true and next advice from Anastasia, uh, she recommend people to create a space of love or you can say field of love uh, around yourself, around your family. And she say that uh, that field of love coming uh, from the plants and then more plants around you, then more easy to create such a field. And uh, she recommend just to take care of the plants which is grow around your place and if there's enough of these plants then immediately created that space of love and that space of love is a medicine is a healing and it's a great uh, protection as well because we say love is the best protection and uh, let's creating a space of love around uh, the place where you live let's bring more plants and connecting with these plants because not enough only to plant uh, the plants but also important to find the connection with them try and connection with your heart and feel love to these plants and then you create such a, a space of love but i in my opinion is not only about plants about everything about animals about people if we feel love to each other of course it's coming such a space and she uh, tell a lot about that uh, point point of uh, create such a space such a field of love and uh, i think it's very very important as well and the last advice of uh, Anastasia, Anastasia for this video, she have many advices, but just for this video, the last advice, uh, she recommend uh, people, if your profession, what you have, is uh, carry destruction to the earth, uh, it's destroying the earth, it's making earth uh, collapse, uh, uh, she recommend to change that profession, because she say, we cannot be happy uh, in the earth, which is... Uh, destroyed we are part of the earth and uh, the destruction what human bring to the earth is uh, of course uh, quite big and quite uh, strong and uh, she recommend people who already have such a profession which is destroying the earth life then she recommend please uh, try to change that and i think it's also important that uh, the consciousness of the people coming up and we try to uh, to bring uh, more conscious to what we do uh, like my father uh, now he's retired but he was working um, uh, about the di digging uh, the minerals from the ground and he say he's destroying a lot of uh, places uh, on the earth and now his uh, intention by being retired he want to compensate it by uh, planting uh, the trees and uh, planting the plants and uh, yeah he do that and uh, he feel good about it and uh, yeah this is the last advice and uh, remember uh, if you are interested about more advices of Anastasia or just videos about her uh, yeah you can send the comments to this video also um, uh, subscribe for the channel and uh, keep in touch see you in other videos